So form one of Kandori has 5,200 hit points, and he is weak to throwing attacks, which we don't have any, so that's fine. He's weak to ice, wind, and earth, and electric. He takes half damage from every other kind, every other element, and blast type. And he takes 2.5% times damage against Miracle Attacks. So if you have Janus and you have Eternal White... Uh, Janus is really, really good in this battle. Um, <clears throat> due to the fact that Janus has both Eternal White and Eternal Black. Because in the second form, that 2.5% weakness goes to uh, Curse Damage, which is what Eternal Black is. So, But the big thing for this this dude is he has a major 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 weakness to guns but I do want to use one spell so that's tech damage he does have a weakness to tech damage too so so we're gonna do this and then we're going to It doesn't really matter what you do. I just want you to... We'll go back on to skip here. Alright, so now... We're going to... Shoot... Shoot, and shoot, and Rakunda again, and you shoot. It's <laughs> got my two Rakundas in. I'm going to get one more. One more of these. Pretty much set. This is pretty much what we're gonna do for the remainder of this first phase. So. Uh, shoot. We're just gonna replay. Yeah, because I knew he was dead soon. <clears throat> so this is the second form of the Kandori fight, where we fight Nyarlathotep, who, has, who basically takes over Kandori's body. And turns him into God Kandori. <laughs> Basically, he's been taken over by his persona. And we kind of want to do the same thing. So, with the exception of guns, because this, this guy is still weak to guns, uh, the previous was weak to ice, wind, and earth. This one is weak to fire, nuclear, blast, gravity, and all that. Uh, guns are still pretty much the way to go, though. So we just want to do this. Um, the first form of... Kandori is not particularly dangerous. Um... You have to watch out for... He has a move called Decover. And what Decover does is it makes it where you can't heal yourself for a few turns. And... 
that can be dangerous. <clears throat> what? Uh. And Deathica, which you saw him use. Deathica is just an instant death move. It can miss. So that's pretty good. So I want to actually... This. Maki has just enough hit points to survive that triple slice. The most dangerous thing that uh, God Kandori can do is probably that triple slice attack. Uh, but he also has a move called Hell Eyes, which is also instant death. But just get Rakunda on them twice and shoot him to death with your guns. That's it. <laughs> so, we've pretty much got this boss in the bag. Unless he, like, I get incredibly unlucky and he just kills somebody, which he shouldn't because I've got Medea Rahan going every turn. Like, he shouldn't be able to one-shot anybody. So the theory is that he, he, he can get me down to critical, but then uh, Medea Rahan will get me back up to full. God Kandori has 6,500 hit points. So it shouldn't, he's only a little tankier than the previous version, so he should be dead here soon. I can't. No, I, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, should I cancel that and heal that? <laughs> Six points to distribute. Nice. I don't care about your levels. I do want you to get some levels, too. Pretty much at this point, the only thing I care about, really, is how much hit, how many hit points my characters have. Um, the final boss of the game has a move that is stupidly powerful and very, very dangerous. Uh, and to survive this move, you've got to do massive amounts of level grinding. Which I'm not going to do. So here's the plot twist, the big plot twist of the game. Uh, the other world isn't a separate reality. We're inside Maki's head. <clears throat> and the Maki that we've had in our, our party this whole time is the her idealized self. Basically, Maki, the Maki that we have in our party is a technically a persona. Yeah, see?
one of the things, uh, one of the terms that I really like from Final, from Final Fantasy V, uh, Persona V, is they call, uh, you know, they call the the world, the you know, the other world in Persona 3, they call it the Midnight Hour and call it the world in the TV, but I think that the name Metaverse is the best name out of all of them, even though they're all clearly names for the same phenomenon, which... I would classify the phenomenon as it's a world uh, created by the like subconscious desires, the subconscious like trash of humanity's thoughts. And basically, what we have here in this game is uh, Maki has like her own metaverse that she has created because she's been hooked up to the de the Diva system, the Deva system. It kind of amplified that and uh, created this other world. So Maki is no longer in our party. But thankfully we don't have to go too far without her in this dungeon. But we still gotta go through an entire dungeon without her. And all these people are back to normal. <laughs> Incredibly senseless mindset. Thankfully, we don't have to walk all the way out of here. There's a shortcut. I need to put my formation back. Uh... Actually... I feel really bad for Maki in this game because she is just, it's just, she's got such a sad story. So basically we want to go in there and we want to go in this door right here. If you tried to come to this door before, it would have been locked. No, not Thunderkick, Megadola. Yeah, we killed his ass. Okay, I'm gonna open up another soda, you guys. So, just listen. Oh yeah, listen to that. <clears throat> yeah. 
yeah, this is a big reveal. Although it's kind of, I think it's really obvious. But this right here is a prime example about what I mean about the main difference between Persona and SMT. This whole thing boils down to a girl is jealous of her classmates because she's stuck in a hospital. Whereas, you know, if I were to summarize, you know, the plot of SMT1, it was God decided to institute the apocalypse. I mean, that's... <laughs> I mean, you can see a difference in scope there. So remember, that's the chaos mirror. All we gotta do is follow her back into the mirror, right? It's not a big deal. That was the la lamest punch ever animated in all of JRPG history. I want you to know that. might have waited too long to go into the mirror. Unfortunately, bad things are about to happen. I'm not 100% sure what that was. They might tell us. But that looked like some kind of core part of the Deva system. Maybe like a safety thing or something? Wouldn't that be like a kicker? Or it might have been the piece that was keeping the pathway open. <clears throat> and I love this scene here. It's like, oh yeah, the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> and Maki just like just breaks it. <laughs> <laughs> 